So this video is focused on EGP ingress traffic and how you can influence BGP's traffic flow through its attributes, especially AS prepend. Now in the last video, we talked about local preference when BGP AS1 was advertising triple one 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 and VOS2 and VOS3 being in same AS learned those these this one prefix and they were taking VOS1 was taking this path to reach triple one 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 and VOS3 was taking this path to reach triple one one and then when we put a policy inbound to influence the local preference higher here the VOS2 started flowing the traffic through this path and remember that there was an IBGP connection in the last video so that was local preference set to a higher value than default default is 100 we made it 300 in the last video. And then the traffic, instead of going out this way, started flowing this way. And then that was egress. Now, what if you want to influence ingress? So ingress traffic is only a concern when you're advertising routes. So when you are advertising like public routes and you have web servers or what have you, whatever service you're trying to get the clients to reach, you're going to advertise it and they're going to go to the service provider. To influence right now, obviously the, the routes are going or the traffic is coming both ways. What you can do is you can prepend AS because BGP by default takes AS path length. So by default, the AS path length is what it looks at. And most of the time for ingress traffic to be influenced, provided the service provider is not the same. And we're just using the same setup as last time to demonstrate the AS path. We will put a route policy, a route map here for outbound. So we are basically going to do a AS path prepend because when the triple one 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 prefix gets learned, the AS path length is one. And on VOS3 it's one. So we will influence the traffic on this side to prepend the AS path to let's say we add multiple AS numbers. 111 or whatever you can do as many as you want but once the once vos3 receives that prefix with a longer as path and in this case it's going to receive like the as path is three or more it's going to advertise to vos2 saying that i have this is my as path link and then therefore the traffic flow will automatically start going this way and therefore the ingress traffic will be influenced for v1 again remember that local preference if you set the local preference on top of as path local preference is what bgp will prefer but assuming that the service providers are not doing that <clears throat> or your third party vendor is not doing that that you're connecting with <clears throat> your ingress traffic could be possibly influenced by doing AS path prepend. So let's take a look at that. We got VOS 1, 2, and 3. We are advertising VOS 1 from VOS 1. We are advertising on show IP BGP triple one quad zero. Basically, this is my own network. I'm advertising it on VOS 2. 
I'm learning it from 1201, which is this link on VOS 3. I'm learning this prefix on 13001, which is this link. And both of them are reaching or going out their respective links. So let me, let's influence this and look at the AS path link, AS path length. It's just one. I'm going to increase this on this path so that the traffic starts flowing that way. <clears throat> so we're going to say set. I already have a show policy. Actually, I don't. So I'm going to say delete policy from the old configuration. And then I'm going to say set policy route map name of the route map as pre and out rule one action permit set as prepend and here this is where you kind of set the you know the length of the pre uh, the s path since you're coming from as one it's you know that's what you're going to use so i'm going to add one 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 three ones commit and then i'm going to put that as a route policy going out towards this bgp neighbor set protocol bgp neighbor 1303 route map export you could do you'll see that this route map appears commit and let's just go and see what he's still taking this and he's got this AS path length. We're gonna do a soft reset, run reset IP BGP. Thirteen oh one soft in run show IPBGP. We're gonna have to do a soft out here as well, and I have not configured that one, so I'm gonna just do run reset IPBGP all reset all peers. If you configure soft out, you can probably do soft. That's how you're going to do it in, in the production. But uh, since I didn't configure, I am just going to reset, hard reset peers. There it is. Look at the AS path length. And now it's not taking this path. Or it should not be taking this path as soon as this guy comes up. 1201 is path is one. There it is. Now it's going through 2302, 2302. Remember, we have to configure the next hop self to influence this. And that was in the previous video where we did the local preference. So now if you run trace route, you can see it's going through 23002, which is this guy. So instead of taking the path this way, now it's going through the other way. Now this is exactly the same effect of what we saw in the last video for local preference, except that now we did local preference inbound. Here we're achieving the same thing, but doing is path prepend out this way. So two different places where you apply the policy, same effect. This is how BGP attributes are used. Uh, but again, if you want to influence this guy to still take this path out, even though I have just influenced AS path, it will do when you apply the local preference here, it will still prefer local preference over AS path. Try that out. Hope this helps.